Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome to Nat 20. In our previous episode, I killed a kid. <laughs> welcome back uh, to the third episode where we'll see the consequences or what will happen. Jail time. So, a assassin with some bandits just killed Prince of Avranches while he was in near custody. Uh, Dr. Carl has swooped over to where the prince is and is crying over the body. There's nothing that he can actually do to revive him or anything. Is there no way to revive him? And then Dr. Carl will say, uh, we need, we need to get to Silsby as soon as possible. And we need money. <laughs> We need to be able to get 500, 500 gold pieces worth of diamonds so that we can have someone cast a resurrection spell. If only your gracious king had paid us. Or raise, death, <laughs> raise the dead spell. Why don't we just head back to Avranches? I'm oh, sorry. Mm. Why don't we head back to Avranches? <laughs> the king will have plenty of money. Because we'll all be beheaded. Amazing. We did just... Not if we tell him if he casts the spell real quick. <laughs> you think the king will be so happy about his son dying? I think he'd be pretty motivated All right, to make enough. the spell. Think about it, we will look like failures in his All right, house. everyone in the cart, and I'm going to jump <laughs> on, and I'm going to whip the horses into action. I'll jump in the cart. <laughs> yeah, I guess I jump on. Yeah. I fucking... <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Go to town, I, I'm like, fucking, like, if this is Grand Theft Auto, 90 miles per hour, jumping into the army base, ready to fuck some tanks up. They should make a medieval graphic. It's, it's Red Dead Redemption. Or Red Dead Redemption. I'm, like, I killed my horse. Like, that's how intense I'm going. Yeah, cowboy. And, Tekakar will say, who should, I, I know a, <laughs> you know a series of times, just quickly, always ready to be like, who should, uh, <laughs> A little announcement. I know a healer game. in Silsby we can go to to revive him. But we will need to get the money for the diamonds. Mm. We should uh, talk I've to got two fifty gold pieces that need that we can use. We need five hundred gold pieces. Yeah. We sh- well, why not talk to we're making an alliance, right? If we rush um to the the capital and we speak, I'm sure they'll give us the money. They want the alliance as much as we do. The but king won't be the king of Silsby won't be happy about it. <coughs> A dead prince. Think about it. They'll send word. His daughter is going to be supposed to be married to. They'll send word to the other king, and then we will be double beheaded. Where are we going to get the money? I only have twenty five gold. <laughs> we'll have to find a way in Silsby. I got one hundred and forty five. That brings us to Where did you get one hundred and forty five gold? I started out with one forty. Because you, you can get a for, shit ton to start. Well, she started. Oh, yeah, and. Uh, I have eighty. I mean, I have I have eighty five. Uh, not not to to flex on you guys, but I have two hundred and twenty five. <laughs> Jesus! Never mind. We're fine. <laughs> Although, All right, we got the I kind of don't want to be the only person putting money into this. <laughs> this was a dead child. <laughs> throw your money in. I'll throw my twenty five in. There, no How one else has to. Selfish of <laughs> Oh, I'm a good person. I'll help out, guys. But you won't give us money to save a boy's life. This is not just some child. Why are you Indian now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I, this? <laughs> it went weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't... Uh, Dad, you won't <laughs> save the child's life? <clears throat> this is not just some child. This is the prince. You're being very selfish right now. Guys, Who I was fucking, just... <laughs> no one cares about your money. <laughs> <laughs> money is worthless compared to life. No, I'm just saying... Um, I take his money. Except you can buy a life with money. Money has no meaning. It's just a worthless piece of metal that you stupid beings throw around and make so. yourselves look... Powerful. The whole time we're talking about this, we are traveling, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. I didn't stop yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> about money and politics. Uh, you travel not like another hour or so, and uh, as you're traveling, you see two more uh, travelers just traveling the way you're coming from. One is a autumn aladrin, and the other is a high elf woman. 
Um, we don't have time to stop. I don't even, like, try to get out of the way. I okay. just, like, rush right towards him. I'm like, move! <laughs> Dead kid! <laughs> Dead kid! <laughs> uh, and they kind of just wave at you guys as you rush past and almost hit them. Oh, there was a match? Of course I did. Uh, and you don't find that there aren't any more encounters for now, but for the next couple hours, and then you finally see still be in the distance. It's just up another hill, and it's straight there. It's been a while since I've been here. We rush in, yeah. Uh, as you're uh, traveling back over there, you also run into a deep gnome, who seems to be a tra- a merchant of some kind. Does he have <laughs> Move aside! <laughs> Dead child! Move aside! <laughs> and I'll no. veer right past him. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off and, uh, this car's going this fast. Going I'm going really fast. I will rock no, acrobatics. Roll. Just roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um. <laughs> also, why? We need your money. Uh, uh, selfish! Can uh, I? Okay, I ask. Kaka Carl, um, <clears throat> you said we need 500 gold for a sort of diamond. Yep. Do you know where we can get that much diamond? Uh, either we can try to find just random people who might need stuff done to get diamonds, or we could go to the exchange. Or that. I would, uh, I would recommend the black market. That way we keep a hush hush. We might even cut ourselves a deal. <laughs> We don't need word getting out, going to the exchange, uh, a servant of the king and Abranches shows up and throws 500 gold down on a diamond. That looks a little suspicious. Meanwhile, this guy's still trying to jump off the cart. I got 13. <laughs> yeah, you're able to have him. Uh, can I try and pull him back into the cart? Uh, Matt Overboard! <laughs> uh, do you a, uh, first do you a wisdom saving throw to see if you recognize it in time. Nineteen. You you notice him just about to jump, and, and then I guess do a strength saving throw. Actually, that was twenty-one or nineteen. It really makes a difference. <laughs> Sorry, I just slacks the boat. Sorry, <laughs> uh, not twenty. You yes. grab onto him. <laughs> I say, uh, what's the big idea, little stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, or I'll stop it for you. <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna jump out of the cart. We need you and your money. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kid's life at stake, and you're I was, what? you're running away now. <laughs> no, I was gonna go talk to that deep. That For deep what? Home. You might have diamonds. I don't know. We Seems have a plan, suspicious. you fucking buffoon. <laughs> We're going to give our money to people in the black market for a diamond. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're trying to save your money. No, I want to save this kid's life. You're not really that acting motivated. <laughs> Stay in the fucking car. <laughs> yeah. You're a little bit of cards. We want to save kids' lives. <laughs> God damn idiot. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> if we wanted to stop, we should have just stopped. It would be more efficient than just having you jump out of the car and making us Do you even know where the black up. market is? I turned to a <laughs> rocket car. I think I, I would have been okay. You would know, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would have been fine. But I do not, but I, I know <clears throat> someone who will. The same person who will be able to hopefully revive the prince as have dealings with people in the black market. What are we waiting for? We're still traveling. We're not waiting! <laughs> 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 uh, have we reached um, still? Are we inside, you think? Uh, yeah, if you didn't stop at the gnome, then, uh, yeah, you've reached the gates. Short stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna talk to that deep gnome, seemed pretty important, but whatever. We have a plan, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head straight to this lady, uh, this healer that uh, Carl mentioned. Okay, uh, there are two guards at the gates. Oh, she's just gonna blast the, Uh, the gate is closed right now, but there are two guards standing. Watch. Oh shit, stop uh, the <laughs> As we approach, I say, I grab my pouch, uh, 25 gold, and I'll throw it at Ryan, and I'll say, uh, uh, this is for the kid, and then I'll jump out so I can distract the guards. With the gate's closed, though, really. Oh, the gate's yeah, closed. The gate's closed. Um, yeah, I was gonna just, like, distract them. Uh, you know, I don't <laughs> condone lying. We're not gonna lie. I'm gonna get off the cart. Okay. I'm gonna go approach one of the guards. Just, okay. We just gotta act. Like, we have an injured kid. 
<laughs> Pretty sure if we don't want to let us in. But, uh, the guard will say, What are you doing at this time of night, coming to still speak? Oh, uh, well, just passing by. Uh, my son is dying. Uh, <laughs> we're really, really hoping we can get in to find a healer. Don't kind mind. Of, kind of important. Don't mind him, that's just slang for we need a place to rest. What? No, my <laughs> son is dying. And I'm going to cast Charm Person. Okay. At second level. Uh, that's a wisdom saver throw? Yeah, 15. He failed. <laughs> We could have just told the truth, but... Uh, the guard will be like, Sure, I'll open this gate for you. And he motions for the other guard to open the gate. I much appreciate it. Thank you very kindly. No problem. And I'll go hop back on the cart. That was messed up! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Onward! (laughs) Okay, you guys are now in the city of Silsby, and uh, Dr. Carl will tell you that the lady we want to see is on the northern side of the city. What side are we on? We're on the southern side. Of course. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm going to cut straight through. I'll take like the most direct path. Okay. Uh, you take the most direct path, and then uh, as you're like going super fast through the streets, there are a few drunks on the road. <laughs> so uh, the Lapidary Bixery same throws to not get hit. <laughs> Move aside! <laughs> Let's run them over. But. One of them failed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and you're a drunkard anyway. <laughs> he'll take ten bloody damage. <laughs> Scrabbled by a horse. <laughs> then he's not un- unconscious. The other one dodged out the way spectacularly. Spectacularly, uh, he seems to have the agility of a drunken man. Tabaxi. A bit of taxi. <laughs> oh, nice moves! <laughs> and then there's two more up ahead. Like, after about, like, five more streets, once you turn one street. And they're, like, walking the other way so they don't actually see you guys. <laughs> one, of <laughs> one of them hears it and it's like, holy shit, and just jumps, like, doesn't even look back, but just jumps and dives. To the side. He had like 10 seconds to spare. <laughs> this isn't his first time. <laughs> um, and the other one just, after he dives, he just looks at his friend and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> double take. Yeah. And gets hit. Oh, <laughs> okay. Up. And takes four damage. Uh, so unconscious. All I picture is like one of those tropes where the guy's standing on the train track and he's like, whoa, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like a blur hits him. Um, should we not make sure those guys are okay? <laughs> we'll come back later. <laughs> we have a prince. One is, I think one was knocked out unconscious. <laughs> well, this kid's dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> get your priorities straight. He's our biz. I'm seriously beginning to believe you don't just want to spend your money on this kid. <laughs> These are some drunken peasants. If we have he a lives, prince. Yeah. If he lives, we'll get paid probably twice that much. I'm not worried about the yeah. money. I'm worried. <laughs> um, we just ran over some civilians. <laughs> It'll be fine. Hey, Arundel, I understand your concern, but this kid is more important right now. We can come back and find these people and heal them later. Yes, exactly. This child gives me money. I mean, if you <laughs> if what you said is right, he's unconscious. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> He'll be fine in the street. Arundel's <laughs> like, oh, fuck it, all of you. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the first time he's passed out on the street. <laughs> After being hit by a <laughs> what happens in stills be stays in stills. Can you guys throw a perception check? Oh man, I'm gonna ace this. Oh, I kind of did. 14. 22. 22. Oh. 18. 22. Deception. 8. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone except for uh, Elrendal. Elrendal sees a couple of people in a really dark alleyway. And one, the one guy has a knife to another person's throat. And then there's also someone behind taking money from that person as... I just ignore it. Okay. So many dilemmas. <laughs> uh, well, I'm really sorry about this one, Alien Now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm really sorry about okay. this one, but... <laughs> yeah, about, 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 it. <laughs> about which one? About what? <laughs> Oh, no, no. Okay. I, I tossed my money sack, 
money pouch to uh, cook a Carl, and I grab Alien and Adele, and I pull him out, and I jump out of the car, and I pull him out after me. Wait, okay. what about Aaron Adele's money pouch? <laughs> God damn it, the money! <laughs> okay. Uh, shit, I don't know. What it's too late, you guys jumped out of the damn <laughs> cart! <laughs> What is <laughs> and high what is wrong, Ryan? Yeah. He he doesn't see that. So. Yeah. Um. Okay. Can you please chuck your money pouch under the cart? <laughs> please, Dan. Or what? just happen to drop it when I pull you out. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have told me well, what this, was going this, this on, is, this is when uh, Ryan rolls luck. <laughs> see if you drop his pouch. If you would have told me what was going on, I probably would have done so. Okay, so you pull him out, and then, uh, Craig Carl sees this, and just like, Hoot Hoot! The money! The money! Um, Hoot Hoot! The money! Hoot Hoot! Uh, so, God. as he pulls me out, and we're, as we, as we jump off the land, and he says that, I grab my pouch, and I chuck it towards the cart. Okay. I attempt to catch it. So uh, roll a athletics check. Do I, do you want me to roll anything for, for uh, or? Both of you roll, uh, first, Tony, roll a athletics check. Okay. Just to see if you, like, are able to aim for the party. Nat 20. Yes, yes baby. finally. You, like, oh, thank God. Just, like, straight to the center of the cart. <laughs> like, right where Farron is. <laughs> nice. And you'll have advantage to catch it. Even though you don't really need to because it's in. What am I rolling? Uh, the... Oh, Easy. okay. 18. Yeah, you catch it. Like, nice. <laughs> What? No, 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 it was just 18. It was a straight roll. Oh, that was an 8, you were out of 10. Right? No, that <laughs> was a second roll. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, don't worry, I got the money. And you hear Sorry. a satisfying jingle of, like, of the coins as you catch it. Ah, yes. Fist pump! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just uh, <laughs> woof. So I say to Ryan, I'm like, what's going on? Why, why'd you pull me out of the car? Alley. And the two bandit, or the two guys have seen you guys now, too. Because Carl made so much noise about throwing the coin pouch. So I can see, like, the guys in the alley yeah, now? Yeah, you now see oh, Okay, them. okay. <laughs> and one of them still has his knife to the uh, woman's throat, and the other is running away with the money he got. Um, alright, uh, Ryan, I say one of us chases the other bandit, and one of us stays and, and fights this guy. Oh, what a bit of a disadvantage stay here, because, uh, he seems to have a hostage. Righto. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> <laughs> um. This guy will yell out at you guys, leave or I'll cut her fucking throat. Well, that's violent. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This got real. Aim for his head. I could try to hit him with my longbow. I really wish I had a whole person. Too bad I thought I didn't need that spell. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. Uh, uh, I mean, I can try to hit him with my longbow, but... He's not the one with the money, though. No, but uh, yeah. he's going to kill that lady if we go any closer, so... That's fine. <laughs> well, um, what I can do is cast... Um, All right. Warding Bond on the lady, so that she would gain uh, plus one AC and saving throws, and resist a small damage, and I take... The same damage that she takes. Okay. So, uh, I, I, just, I have to roll it. Actually, no, I have to touch her to do that, so, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Shit. Christ. Long bow is the oh, only way to go. Toss the dwarf. This is dense dwarf. This is literally a Legolas Kimley moment. <laughs> That's so true. So you turn him becomes the best man. Man. Not the bear. You gotta count your kills. I I guess like I don't know long low. Uh maybe you can diplomatically resolve the situation. <laughs> <laughs> you have persuasive skills because I have negative one charisma. Okay, we talked about this before. <laughs> yeah, I'm charisma. at seven for charisma. I'm like I'm very talking. <laughs> I have sixteen. Why <laughs> you're not here? <laughs> um oh, so do I. Uh, <laughs> the ones that could dissolve it. We could try. Um and the other bandit is getting further and further away. Yeah. Uh, is that the one who sold the money? Yeah. You have to sit there talking. Hey, <laughs> 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 well, like, should I use my wand though? No, we should talk about this. 
Just I'm really excited to see what happens. Just shoot him. <laughs> I'm gonna use my. Just, um, I'm gonna use my longbow <laughs> on the guy who's holding her hostage. Uh, you have your superiority, guys. I know. I'm gonna make sure to use that you this time. You have to roll with advantage, with disadvantage to hit since he's behind someone. That's true. He has three quarters cover, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two net twenties, please. That's the dream, isn't it? That's a nineteen. That's close, that's good. Uh, 16. What's that? Oh, that your... Uh, that's just like, that's just normal. Um, okay. And then, oh, um... Longbow's dex. Is, what is, is Longbow dex? Is it dex? Yeah, yeah, dex yeah. and proficiency. So then, uh... <coughs> so that, four. so four, so that'd be a dirty 20. Uh, you hit him, like, and it seems to be just before he's about to slice. Okay, uh, should I roll for damage it. as well, then? Yeah. Okay. Bling. D8... Just drink some uh, I do seven damage. That's with your bonuses. Uh, would well, would that also be just plus your dex, dex yeah, and yeah. Prof- proficiency? Just dex. Just oh, dex. Okay, yeah. sorry, it's nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, you hit him, and you hit him so hard that it makes him drop his dagger. Nice. Ooh, and that's the a woman impact. starts to run away. Um, I'm gonna chase the other guy. Okay, I'm not fast. Okay, well, I guess I will confront the guy that's. Is he prone? Did he get knocked down? Or did he just drop his. Dagger? He just dropped his. Dagger. Okay. Well, um. Um. So the alleyway. So the other guy would be running away from us. So I would have yeah. to run past this first yeah. guy to get. To, okay. So he'll have an opportunity to attack. Or actually, will be you then. Uh, Ryan, then the bandit. Okay. So, Ryan, it is your turn. Okay, well, um, I will approach the bandit, and, uh... Choke slam. Oh, no, man. I will use, I guess, just my battle hammer. Okay. That's good. And, uh, try and pin him against the wall. And I got a, uh, 17. Yeah, you no, 19, yeah. So, let's see... I do seven damage. Okay, you kill him. Oh, eight damage. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't trying to do that, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, man, he switched his innards. <laughs> I guess I just cracked his skull open with an egg. And you are running after him. Yeah. Um. Did you want me... Like, uh, how far away is he from me? Uh, he'd be... 60 feet ahead. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to be running after him. Because I can also use one of my maneuver abilities to add... Uh, add the number of what I rolled um, to to move further ahead, I believe. Let me think, man. Let me die now. Yeah, I think so. No. Uh, you move. You can expand one die. Rolling the die and adding the number rolled to your AC until you stop moving. Um, oh, yeah. can I yell after the lady who drives you away? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be like. Stop, Will. We mean you no harm. We'll get you your money back. Uh, she hears you and she does slow down and eventually stop and kind of walk back slowly and kind of carefully. Okay. Okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chase that guy. Okay. Uh, roll a survival check for your track. Uh, that's a four. You've lost track of where he is. <sighs> okay, so I can't see him then? No. Okay. He's well. gone around too many quarters. Oh man, you're not a ranger, are you? This way, I would go on the And then I'll go back to you guys. So, so you guys are... lied to that lady. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, we can't even, like, compensate her for her loss, because I just gave all my money I mean, away. So did you? she might have died. Yeah. I'll go back to you guys. All right. yeah. uh, Sorry. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are in the cart. You guys are making your way closer to the revive in person. Yeah, I just plopped down beside the dead prince and put the coin purse in my satchel. Okay. I yeah. don't think we're really stopping for anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go straight there. Uh, and when we get there, we'll just bring it to a screeching halt, kind of hop off. And I'm going to, like, uh, throw the kid! <laughs> and I'll hold out my arms. Yeah, so you, you get at this building that, uh, it's a really, really old building. Like, it seems like it's, probably one of the buildings that has been here since 
since people started settling here. But it's a nice building otherwise. Like, uh, really nice roofing and like siding and stuff like that. But pristine mahogany, mahogany door with a really intricate knocker on it that's in the shape of a, a snake. And, uh, yeah. And the, the knob on the door is like golden. <sighs> OG establishment. So Kaku Carl will jump out of the cart and like, bang super loudly on the door. I'll pick up and he'll just yell, Isadora! 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 Come! We need your help! And eventually a woman uh, comes to the door, opens it, and is like, Kaku Carl? He's like, Hoo-hoo. yeah. <laughs> 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 and Car- Kaku Carl's like, we need someone revived. I can't tell you who it is. You might know who it is once you see him, but we can't tell you, but we really need him revived as soon as possible. We don't have diamonds, so we will get to this as soon as possible unless you have some. And she'll be like, I don't have any diamonds, but you'll, if you want, you could probably find some way to get them at the exchange or the black market. Or if you find, like, some help boards around the city. People might have diamonds. We don't really have time for a help quest. No. Um, <laughs> perhaps do you? What would be faster, the exchange or the black market? Uh, oh, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you go to the exchange, you might be able to also go to the black market after. Like it's. There's a way in from the exchange. Um, I guess we should just beeline for the exchange. What's the quickest way to the exchange? Uh, just take the road that you just came from and just keep going to the east for ten blocks and then north for four more. And there will be a big sign of the huge building that says the exchange. Sounds good. Keep the kid here. Kaka Carl, you stay with the kid. Also known as my son. <laughs> <laughs> Please come pick us up. Uh, I'm sticking to that bit. No, we're not heading back towards you. You said you're coming back down? No, yeah, it's going the opposite way. Same oh. road, just opposite. Road. Yeah, you guys are screwed. Never mind. <laughs> we'll find it. Give us your gold, Kaka Carl, and we'll go get diamonds. He'll toss you his uh, bag of gold. Alright. Back in the cart! <laughs> <laughs> I never left. <laughs> oh, well, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well. Keep, we'll keep on, uh, trucking. Okay, and pick Carl, we'll stay with the kid. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll head east 10 blocks, and then we'll- Sorry, go. I meant west 10 blocks. West 10 yeah. blocks, and then what was it, uh, left? North. Then north, north three so blocks. right. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make a sharp right, uh, slam on the e-brake, so I can slide down that turn. Uh, um, skid steer. <laughs> skid steer. <laughs> I'll just stick my foot out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll make it straight to the exchange. Uh, on the way there, I'll be like, uh, if the exchange takes too long, we'll find the black market. And Isadora will, yell, will be right before, well, while you're leaving, will yell out, beware of, uh, Chavit, uh, he'll most likely, likely be at both places. That's the guy that's deep You might be able to make a deal with him, but it, it's, it's risky. Oh, the thing is that Keep your very rich, up, man. Very rich, very powerful. <laughs> It's too bad you didn't talk to that deep no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go back to you guys. Go talk to the deep no. <laughs> Tori's like, I told you guys. <laughs> Tori's like, you can all suck it. I was right. <laughs> we finally was good for the exchange. So what are you guys doing with, uh, yeah, there's the woman there and there's the band of that escape. Well, we lost the bandit, right? There's not really yeah. for us yeah. to find him. Um, can I loot the bandit that we killed? Yeah. Uh, looking specifically for gold. Yeah, uh, Autumn, you find about 20 gold pieces. You assume that he stole that from somewhere else. Cool. Uh, I take that 20 gold and I walk over to the lady that we, uh, that was getting robbed. And I say, hey, sorry, we, uh, lost track of the other bandit and he made it away with your belongings. Very sorry that happened, um, but here's 20 gold that we got off this other bandit. 
Um, <laughs> um, sorry, so sorry. Uh, we tried our best. Just no, no, no! Thank you so much. You saved my life. I cannot repay you in any way. It's just so much. I, I wish I could repay you in some way. It's you have five hundred gold worth of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I just had 600 gold pieces worth of diamonds in that bag that the bandit stole. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, <laughs> I, was like what kind I, of... I had like uh, 15 gold pieces. That is all. I don't Why? Know about you, jewelry, you, but. <laughs> give me back five yeah. more. <laughs> you're alive. alive. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, don't worry about it. There's not really much for us to do here, so we may as well just walk you home. It's late at night. Oh, that, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Ain't no problem. Another escort quest. <laughs> Let's not let this one die. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm broke. I was like, I have like 150 gold. <laughs> yeah, at least no one can rob us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. They can rob you of their life. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so I want to see them try. She leads the way to where her house is, which is just like a few blocks away. Cool. And then when she gets the, when he guys get there, she says, let, "Let me get you something as a repayment for saving me." Oh it's, no, it's the least I can do. No, seriously, no, don't don't worry about it. Just smile is all it needs, all it takes. You said you needed diamonds. <laughs> oh, I was kind of joking. Okay, okay. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, do you need to revive someone? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an awfully specific. It happens a lot here in Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not the greatest place. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, actually, as it happens, that is exactly the case. If you have uh, <laughs> a, a spare one or two, that'd be grateful, but if not, honestly, don't worry about it. Like, um, it's not a big deal. Here, yeah, let me just hungry. go up to my room and get it. And she'll go up and bring down uh, 30, uh, diamond worth 30 gold pieces. Damn. Alright, well. All right, uh, uh, I will you... accept it because I want to save the kid. I don't want to take her stuff, but to me, the kid is priority. Again, thank you so much for saving my life. No, with this, we owe you a lot of things. No, thank you. And <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the the diamond. We <laughs> we really need it. <laughs> All right, well, um, before we leave. You wouldn't happen to know uh, where any fantastic healers would live, would you? Because we don't really know our way around. I've, uh, there's one I know of named uh, Tolkien. He lives on the uh, west side of town. All right. All right. Um, also, yeah. do you know where we can get more diamonds? Uh, I'd say either the exchange, probably the exchange. Uh, where, Maybe if you find someone who needs help. Uh, where is the exchange? It's on the northeast, northwest side of town. It's like, uh, right. you just have to go west about 20 blocks and then north about five more. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much. No, uh, we walk off yeah, we'll leave, yeah. <laughs> from my <laughs> house. <laughs> um, so, so Ryan, what's, what's our game plan? Alright, well, uh, I'm not sure how many healers there are in the city, but uh can't be that many. So we could we have with this healer token and hopefully the rest of our party's there. Otherwise we could just head straight to the exchange because uh we might end up meeting up with our party there as well. Alright. Well, um I say it's worth sticking together. Uh but <laughs> I don't wanna split. <laughs> <laughs> you go one way, I'll go the other. <laughs> um I guess let's go to the healer first. Um, wait, we were, sorry, where was the, the healer was? The healer was on the east side of town. Okay, um, and where would you say we are? You're kind of central north. Okay, um, so the exchange is closer, but... The exchange is closer. Um, I would say we should go to the exchange, because, uh, we definitely don't have enough diamonds, so there's no point going to see a healer if we can't pay him. Uh, fair enough. Let's let's head that way then. Maybe we'll we'll meet up with the rest of the group there. Maybe better there. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, you make your, your way, you see a few drunks in the streets and prostitutes in the streets, uh, and, uh, a few people, because it is starting to, it's around, like, 5 a.m., so the sun will rise in a few hours. Okay. Uh, you see a few people who are already up and, like, going to work or going to their bakery to bake shit or whatever, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Like a <laughs> Other than that, or actually, roll a perception check. That baker's me. Swords. You see three bakers. <laughs> I nineteen. That baker's making bread of diamonds. <laughs> Seven hundred dollars worth of diamonds. That baker's drawing a map. Uh, as you go past one street, you could almost where you got a glimpse of the band that you saw earlier. Um, juicy. I he has six hundred dollars worth of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, turn to Ryan and say, "Hey, I think I see that bandit that ran off earlier." I I pointed yeah. out. But I, I'm not sure. I didn't get a good look at him. But I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Do you think he's worth chasing down at all? Like we paid that lady back, but I mean, justice wasn't served. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go after it. Hey, roll a survival check to your tracking. Just because you only barely caught a glimpse. 16. 4. Uh, you're able to follow his lead. The one who didn't see him at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know I exactly saw him where he went now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, like, went towards where, uh, where, uh, Taylor, Taylor Randall was pointing. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. And uh, you c- catch a glimpse of him again and are able to catch up a little bit and you see where he's going to. Cool, okay. Well, I guess we just pursue him. Okay. Um, are you trying to be quiet about I was going to say, uh, probably I want to stealth, yes, but I have disadvantage on stealth because I'm wearing chain now. Okay. Um, um, I guess I could stealth, but it's not really going to make a difference because you're with me. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just try to follow uh, at a steady pace and try mm-hmm. to... I could uh, attack him from a distance with a spell if we want to do that, unless we just want to... That's true. Get that might, intimidate. That might, be, that might be a good idea. Or I can try with my longbow because we'll both have advantage because you should see it. Okay. Well, I guess if we're in an area where there's no people, that we could possibly hit instead. Yeah, there's not many people there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So okay, well, you use your spell, and I'll use my wand. Okay, well, well cast, uh, um, is this the right? Are we, thing I was gonna say, it? Are, we, are we sure it's him? Because what if just, it's like a random guy, and all of a sudden he just pelts him with an arrow. <laughs> okay, well, how sure were you about it? Because you got like a pretty hard roll. On that yeah, yeah you were pretty sure it was him. All right. Um, <laughs> he looked like a bandit, so it doesn't matter. If it's the right one. <laughs> Another guy has a high bounty on his head. It's like, what? <laughs> it was his twin brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, I say we. I, yeah, if I was pretty sure about it, then let's go for it. Okay, apparently diamonds are calling in this town anyway, so maybe he has some diamonds on him. Okay, well I cast guiding bolt on him. I'm gonna shoot my longbow. Okay. <laughs> I got a uh, wow. Um, Good. I got a seven, but. I'm to hit, but I'm gonna add one of my die to it. So it's a one d eight. That's a nine. This is well. Awesome. Oh, she really just threw away that longbow. Yeah, I haven't hit a single thing in the longbow. <laughs> Pick up a new one. Okay, well I did nine damage. Uh, you hit him on key. Falls to the ground. He trips and falls to the ground. Cool. And also, because it was guiding bolt, uh, the next person to attack him has advantage because he's okay. like shimmering with light. What color of light is he going? I'm going to say uh, just white, normal, like light. Or is it like divine light? Well, I think it's radiant. Yeah. Or is it like shifting from light to blue to red? Um, it's so as you get closer to him, you do recognize that it is that same damage. A lot so at least. <laughs> Um, and he's like kind of trying to scramble back to speech. Um, I'm gonna run up and pick him up by by his, his shirt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a strength check. 
Tony, my man. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a t- ten. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How do you know he's having? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I just haven't done anything. Uh, like you wow, grip his really? shirt, and then like as you like pick him up, he you kind of lose your grip a little bit, and he stumbles away a little bit, but he still really close to you guys. Pick him in the nuts. I'm gonna pick him up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna pick him up, but I'm gonna like because he's like on the ground, right? He's trying, like trying to crawl away. I'm just gonna flip him over. Uh, and roll, just, like, roll initiative. Initiative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna right. ask what yeah. we're gonna do this in. Yeah. Uh, it's fourteen. Um, that's a 15. Sick. Okay. Expanded from that 20. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, right? oh. So he's, you You wouldn't be in front, well, you probably wouldn't be in front of the batter. So mm, not, well, because he's, he's like crawling away, right? Yeah, and then you pick them up, so he's kind of just scrambling. So kind of like right next to each other. Yeah. I guess you would have an opportunity to attack. But he's gonna disengage and just run. They always run. So next it'll be right, right, and right. Yeah. So I have, I have an action. Yeah. Okay. And is he still kind of like scrambling to get up, or is he up? Uh, he is up. And okay. Starting to run away. Disappointing, but all right, I'll take it. Um, I take my battle hammer, pat flask, and I uh, swing it at his feet to try and knock him down. Okay. And uh, let's see. This guy is looking pretty bloody too. Yeah, I'm not trying to kill him, just getting at his feet. I got a 12. Two hit. Sweet. Okay. Nice. And I guess, let's see. Yeah, yeah, maximum 8 damage. Okay, uh, you said you weren't trying to kill him? Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, he's not unconscious. Sick. From, like, too much pain. Okay. Wow. Um, and one of his legs is broken really badly. Well, that's okay. I guess we'll take it. Um, good job. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> Any time. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess search his body, and then we'll heal him and be on our way. Hopefully, he learned a lesson. Damn right. I awful, say awful good character over here. I say. Um, we take him to jail, or take him to the. I guess we the poli- uh, police like just tie him up. I mean, um, can carry him, and then ordinarily him him. I would agree, but also we're on a time limit because there's this kid that's dead. That's true, and like for me, that takes priority. Um, would we know if there's like a like a police station or like a you know like guard station uh, like nearby? That's like on the way. Would either of your characters have been um, in Soul Speed? I know. You said it's like dwarven population? Uh, a, a long time ago it was mostly dwarven, okay. but now it's pretty much anyone. Okay, then probably not. Okay. I probably wouldn't have been there. No. Yeah, uh, you would assume that because it is a large city, there would be law enforcement of some kind. You just don't know where you would find them. Um, <laughs> time up. I put a sign around his neck that says, arrest me. <laughs> um, what we could do is, we could tie him. I can carry him over my shoulder for a bit, and if you're going across a guard, you can just leave it with him. Um, if not, then I mean, like, just leave him. Oh. Dump him somewhere. Wouldn't it look a little bad carrying an unconscious man around, <laughs> having him tied up? I mean, he was a bandit, like, and, you know, um, I, I, I don't have to just leave him here. Alright, well. I'll cast Cure Wounds on him, because, uh, I don't want him to die in the street. Okay. And you're just doing, like, the minimum just to keep him alive? Yeah, just to, like, yeah. Make okay. Just fine. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. Just like a bit, maybe. Yeah. Should we tie him up at all? Or? Yeah, I think so. That way somebody else can steal him or steal all his stuff. <laughs> or kill him. <laughs> That's... Uh, alright. Um, I guess I'll tie his arms and his legs. Yeah. And then if we get the opportunity, we can come back and check him if he's still there. To the authorities. Okay. Alright, I, I am in agreement with that. Cool. And did you search his body? Because I didn't. Uh, I am not going to because I have no need to. Justice was served, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll search his body. Okay. 
uh, on his body you find the purse with 20 gold pieces. Yeah, 20 gold pieces yeah, yeah. from the lady. Yeah. As well as a small pouch with, uh, well, in that purse there was also a ring with sapphire in it and a earring and two earrings with okay. sapphires. As well as there was also a pouch that he had in his pocket with two emeralds. Cool. And they were 25 gold pieces each. Alright, okay, well, I take all of it. Um, probably won't keep it though. Okay, Alright, let's I'll keep going. We'll go to the, uh, the exchange. Sounds good. And that is where we will end for the episode. We'll see you next time with Nat 20.